Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I've made these very cute little Easter bunny bonnets, I guess. They're little gift boxes, so you just take the lid off the top there and they're filled with treats. And I've decorated them with some little eggs on the bottom, the ears on the top, and that little sign, bunny kisses and Easter wishes. They're really straightforward to make. You don't need any specialty dies. I just used dies to make the ear shape, but you could cut that freehand. And the same with the base here. You can, you know, draw around something to get that shape. So like I said, easy to make. So let's get started. So the dies I have used are the super size nestables. These are the scalloped oval dies from Creative Craft Products. I'll give you the measurements of the ones that I used. For the sentiment, I've used this one here, Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes, which is from the Honeycomb Easter Sentiments set. And then for the ears, I use this old Card Making Magic one, but I've done tutorials where I've made the bunnies before similar and I've cut the ears myself, so it's easy to do. And the papers I've taken from this one, which is Sunshine Flowers, and it's a six by six pad by Daisy May Designs. So to make the base and the lid, you'll want a piece of five and a half by ten and a half. Along that ten and a half side, you're going to score at every one and a quarter inch. So one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, five, six and a quarter, seven and a half, eight and three quarters and ten. OK, all the measurements will be on my blog. Then pop it along the short side so that half inch tab is at the bottom here and you want to score at two. Then for the lid, this piece is two and three quarters by 11. Along the 11 inch side, again, you're gonna score every one and a quarter, but just up to eight and three quarters. So one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, five, six and a quarter, seven and a half, and eight and three quarters. And then along the short side, you're gonna score at three quarters of an inch all the way down, okay? Next, you want to fold and burnish all the score lines. First of all, we'll start with the larger piece. You want the half inch tab on the right hand side and you're going to cut up all of these score lines to the first score line. And then the end piece here, you just want to cut a little bit off the top there and then just cut that away. So you've got your tab. I'm going to use my quick grab glue all the glues are linked below the video everything I use is always linked below the video and then just add your glue there fold that over and then fold that one over okay so if you fold all these out what we're going to do now is connect the base so I've got my back join here and you're going to work with your opposites these two are opposite each other we're going to stick one over the top but you want to make sure the width is two and three quarters so if you use some liquid glue, you'll be able to just wiggle it around until you've got it into place. So like so, I'm just going to sit that over the top and then I can just see just a little bit. I need to pull that out just slightly. Hang on, two and three quarters. Get that measurement in place and then everything else, all the measurements and everything that I've given you is all going to line up. So just... Make sure that's secure, like so. Okay, next you're gonna work with these ones. You want them to be nice and straight. And if you get those straight, like so, when you measure this, it should be three and a quarter, thereabouts. You want it near to that because the lid needs to fit. So I'm gonna add my glue onto that piece, get that nice and straight. So I've got, bang on, three and a quarter there. OK, again, just pop that over and just make sure that's all secure. And now these ones, you just want to sit like so. OK, again, make sure that's all secure. And then I've got these two here. So these are using these dies. So I've got the one here, which is five and a quarter wide. And then this one is four and three quarters. The size of this is entirely up to you. And you might want to have a circle shape. Make sure I've got the one at the back. So it's that way. OK, 
Okay, so that's all secure. Next, you want this piece. You want the three quarter inch end facing away from you. And you're going to cut down all the long pieces to the first score line. So you're going to cut all the way down up to there. Just do that on all of those score lines. And then you'll have that larger section at the end. What you want to do is wrap it around here so they all line up with each other. And where you've got that longer piece, just I've already kind of got a score line there because I've I scored it and I shouldn't have, but you just basically want to wrap it around there and pinch it so you can make that kind of fold. And then that one will sit perfectly over the top and you'll be able to pull that off and then we'll seal the top of it. OK, so that's the longer piece. You won't have a score line there. But you're going to just bring it around to that one and then that is going to just stick over the top. So what I'm going to do, you only want to add the glue to the bottom piece because everything else is going to fold in. So I'm just adding it along that bit there. Just make sure it all lines up. Everything's nice and straight. OK, so once that's secure, take it off. And what you'll need to do is cut down where you've just made that fold to that first score line. And then if you pop this back on again, because it should now fit because you wrapped it around. It's going to be a bit um, delicate and flimsy at the minute, but just get it back in there. Bring it right up to where you've got the score line and you can start to fold all of these pieces in. So again, you want to do the same as what you did with the base. So I'm going to fold all these out and I'm going to work on the two opposites here. Now you might have two pieces together there, so you can actually, I'm just going to trim that one off because you don't need both of them there. Okay, and then you just want to again, make sure that's two and three quarters. Well, just about, we're going to stick this on the top and then cut around it so it doesn't matter too much. It's just the easiest way really to make these kind of lids. So just pop that over the top. Just all secure and then do these sides here you just want to make sure it's nice and um you know the shape's straight and it's not crooked put that one on there and that one and then just start sticking in all of these pieces Okay, then I've got this piece. You just want to have a piece of scrap card that's big enough to sit over the top. I'm going to use my construction glue for this because I want this to strengthen. Like so, I'm going to take the lid off now and then stick this on here. Now, if you want to, you can cut a piece smaller like cut around like i'm going to do with this piece but then just cut it slightly smaller to sit inside if you want to cover this up but i'm not too worried about that people aren't really going to notice but once that's secure just take your scissors and just kind of nice and flush with the sides just cut around It's just a nice, easy way to make your lid. You can see it's nice and neat. So just make sure that's all secure. And again, if you want to put some trim around here, washi tape, a little pom-pom trim would look lovely on these because of that kind of spring Easter theme. I think pom-pom trim always looks really nice on these kind of projects. But that should really secure and strengthen it now. And then you'll be able to pop that on top. And you've got your little hat there, a little bonnet. So I've then got all these pieces here, which are one by three and a quarter. Yeah, so they're going to go on all eight sides. I've got my little sign here, which I heat embossed. And then the bunny ears. So the oval is, the light, well, the white one, sorry, is three and a quarter by just over one. And then the yellow is looking at what, two and three quarters by five eighths. So just two of those. And then what I did to have them kind of angled out is just kind of, I just folded it like by eye really, just on an angle. That's about right. So you're just folding it on an angle. So I've gone across there 
maybe do it on a test it first on a piece of scrap and then do it on the actual piece that you want to use I just put a little curve in them as well it just looks quite cute on the ears and then to make sure you've got the same angle if you just switch them oh I don't want to use that one I'm gonna have to swap that one over but just put them so they're face to face and then just fold it on the same angle there and then you can take that one away fold it back that way pop a little curve in there and now when I sit those side by side they just slightly fan out there they look quite cute and you could put googly eyes here you could put some teeth and whiskers you know you can add a bit more a few or a few more should I say bunny features if you wanted to so I'm going to get all this stuff down and do another one of those ears Okay, and there's the finished box. What I might do with this one, because I've got that score line, although sometimes the score lines can look decorative as well, so I could have left that score line in and it would have just looked like it's part of the design. But what I will probably do is add a thin strip of... I've actually got some really nice... Let me just grab... I got sent all of these from my friend Simone. And they're all strips, just different colours, but there's... See that pink... And these are adhesive. I've not actually used it before. Let me just... It might not wrap all the way around, but... I think these are from Love From Lizzie, because I know she gets the kits. Okay, I can patch the back. But that actually looks really cute. So that's a good way to cover up, but it's also nice to add like faux borders and stuff without adding like two layers of cardstock. So there you go. That can uh, hide that score line. And then I'm going to fill this one with, I'm down to the last kind of chocolate bits, really. Um, this one might have a mix. We can get so much in this. And I've got a couple of these left over. That's the last of those, because in these ones, because I've got chicks and bunnies in that one. And then... I've got that one's just all bunnies so yes yeah, so that uses the last of those up and the coins chocolate coins and I've got one more bag so I'll probably just scatter those in the hampers there you have it aren't they adorable they're so cute really like these ones so I hope you've enjoyed this one from me today I think they are wonderful little gifts and you could turn these into Christmas themes as well you know take the ears off and you know do something that can more festive with them I think they're definitely gonna work for many occasions so I will link everything that I've used as always in the description box below there'll be some other Easter themed like novelty boxes popping up now that you can watch if you want to and if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed today's video please subscribe I'd really appreciate it and I'll be back again very soon take care bye